to the Ross Patterson Revolution. Brought to you by GhostBed.com. Oh, hey, Jessica. <laughs> Don't. Oh, hey. Don't. Oh, hey, Jessica. How are you? Don't call me Jessica. Oh, my sweet baby Jessica. How are you doing today? <laughs> I don't want you to fall down a well, too. Oh, that was baby Jessica. Huh? Yeah. Yeah. A lot of people don't know that uh, Jesse that isn't short me. for Jessica. That I am. That I. We grew up. Yeah, I'm the I'm the well the well baby from, Jessica from the well to Wilmington. All grown up. Yeah, arms legs. Yep. Climbed out of that well, mm-hmm. and you learned to fly. You had to I mean, walk before out, you could but... run. Baby Jessica, the story of a woman on the verge of taking over a well. <laughs> <laughs> what are you talking about, nerd? Oh, I'm talking about uh, Shark Gate today, James. <laughs> I woke up to that. I don't that. buy it, dude. I woke up to that. I fucking died laughing. I have not seen a hashtag of Shark Gate ever trending. And that's uh, S H A R T, by the way. Mm-hmm. Not, uh, not to be confused with the popular Oceanic. Animals with a fin. Oh, not shark. Yeah. Yes. Not with Shart. a K. Yeah. yeah. Sharding your pants. Mm-hmm. Eric. Oceanic animals with a fin. Yeah. What the fuck is wrong with you? Eric Swalwell, Jesse. Uh-huh. Mid-interview talking about the impeachment. Our, our president, he's terrible. He's got to get, we've got to impeach him. <laughs> Just ripped a juicy turd right off a. You could tell it was probably like a plastic chair. And like in the middle of it, you see like his left eye go up of like, oh, oh, fuck. (laughs) Oh, no, that one slipped out. I don't buy it. I Uh, don't buy it, I wonder if the mic picked it up. Oh, this has been trending all day. This video has gone viral. And they reached out to him for comment today. And he said, I didn't do it. It wasn't me. Um, And he claims to have not heard it on camera. But he is getting absolutely... I didn't Swarmed. do it. It wasn't me. Mm-hmm. What do you think would have been the better move there? Just be like, <laughs> whoever smelt it, dealt it, dude. Or just like try and be funny about it. I don't know what you do Admit in a situation it. like this. It was so loud. Um, but You it, have to own it. Yeah. And that's, that's a pro tip in life. Yeah. You know what I mean? Just don't be like, ever yeah. be like, I didn't do it. It wasn't me. Right. That's stupid. So uh, Eric is uh, having a hard day today. He's having a wet day, um, a little damp, and the, the 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 internet is ruthless as always. Sure, I mean there is just post of his underpants, what they might look like, what they look like before and after. Um, I mean it is the memes going around for this are insane right now. You know I hate a pee pee poo poo humor. Yeah 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 yeah. You know I hate it. Well. I'm, which I'm surprised because why uh, you know I've had a, a few of my my films. I had a man shit in a vase in one movie. Yeah. Again, I'm not a fan <laughs> of pee pee poo poo humor. Oh man, that's I t- can separate the art from the artist. To this day, um, that is still the, one of the most discussed scenes in maybe film history. Of like, did that kid what really shit in a vase? What was the poop made out of? Um, so we had a really great art director. She was fucking awesome. And she was so good that I knew, I was like, man, as soon as this movie's over, she's going to get hired and I'll never get to work with her again. Right. Because there is that rare talent out there and you know it when you're working with them and you're like, oh, fuck, mm-hmm. like a big studio is going to pick you off and I'll never get to work with you again. Mm-hmm. And she worked on it for fucking two days to make this shit look real. And she was like, I think I got it. And uh, sure enough, man, I was just, it was so realistic looking that the, one of the lead actors, uh, Bruce McGill, he physically had to walk off set. He was just like, I'm, was I sick. feel ill. Yeah. Yeah. And he goes, look. Yeah, man. it was gross, dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know. But that scene is so goddamn funny, man. Uh, even is. thinking about it now, like, because it's the kid from Not Another Teen movie. 
Okay. And um, oh my god, so good. Anyways, anyways, uh, Eric, this is going to be a soupy mess for you coming up here in the next few days, and he's one of these people. I don't like him anyway, so you know. Yeah, but you don't wish that. You know, you don't <laughs> wish that on anyone. Oh. Oof. It I, will I live. played it for you. It was just so loud, too. It was so loud, and there was a... It almost seemed fake. A pause. Right. Yeah, yeah, there was a pause, though. Because I, every, like, everybody's rewinding the tape, and they're like, oh, man, he did pause. Like, but maybe someone else in the room did? Like, is he there by himself? No, I mean, there's always a camera crew and stuff, but like, that's... To pick it up on that mic, though, it, you couldn't be behind the camera. It would have to know. have bounced upward. So here's my theory on it, right? Is he going to out who it was then? Plastic Do you know chair? what I mean? I like, you, maybe you that's can't. the next step. You can't. So I, here's my guess What do you mean you this. can't? He could be like, it was this guy in the room with me. Not me. No, he said, he was like, look, it wasn't me. So I, who knows? But he's also in a big place. But I, here's my theory on this, okay? Microphone, the only way that would have picked that up if, is if it was him. Um, I think that he probably farted, probably thought it would go backwards, and it went frontwards up or towards that mic off the hard plastic. And I, I think or he it went thought up it was going to be mic. silent. Yeah, that's what, that's what he thought. But it went upwards, and then it, it hit that mic, that lav right there. And it was just like, oh, because you could see that, that look of like two-tenths of a second of fear of like, oh, no, that went forward. Fuck, Oof. fuck. And it's like, did anybody hear it? Probably not. Mics are, they're, they're tiny, maybe didn't pick it up. And then all of a sudden, you, you go, I mean, this Does is the on other live guy TV. Say this anything? is on live TV, so you couldn't cut it, by the did way. Did the other guy say anything that was talking to him or just moved on? Uh, he just moved on. I think it was Chris Matthews. So it was just like. Was it Chris? Yeah. Uh, well, ah, who knows? He's got a mic too. Yeah. Hot mic. It's true. Um, I don't know, but either way, um, you know, he's dealing with that today. Yeah. So. And so are we, I guess. <laughs> are we? I mean, we're talking about it, bringing you the hard-hitting news. Like, we're here for you. I think we're, we're dealing the people. with this with love right now. Um, I'm proud of you last night, by the way. Why? You partied hard last night, Jabes. I partied and I wasn't a little bitch. Yeah, you weren't. <laughs> and then I got a B12 shot today. Who do I think I am? Holy shit. Do you know what I mean? Like, yeah. Nixon, fucking JFK, Dean, Dean Martin, JFK, He's JFK, Chappelle. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> like, who am I? <laughs> who is she? She's back. Now, listen, I was never able to party. So it's not like I'm coming back. Sure. Sure. Uh, either coming way, back would be a bad, like if she's back, that would be a scary, scary time. You had a white claw, I think. Mm hmm. And a glass of wine. I had a couple glasses of wine. Yeah. Throughout the evening, and I ended with a white claw. I also had a couple sips of gummy bear shots. Oh, fuck. That's right. I had like nine of those things. Oh. I feel awful today, by the way. Well, you are. Wow. Um, no, I said, well, uh, maybe you should stop being poor and get a B12 shot from Dr. Frank. No, it's not that, dude. Because um, now you're being like a peasant or whatever, because like I went. Straight to it's my thirty dollars, Jesse. You're not a fucking, you know. It's not like you got a, a vaginal injection, you know. You don't know my life, and you don't know what I did. <laughs> I got a straight IV of everything. Oof! I need one today. Oof! It was like it was God liquids, damn, vitamins, vitamins, and liquids. So we have a we have a guest in town for Drinking Bros. He's going to be on today. It might be the most hungover episode ever. Amiri King is his name. He's got fucking millions of followers on Facebook. People love him. He's really cool. funny dude. Just does he not give a shit. Yeah, so we went we we took him out. Um and uh oof, man. Topless Stacy. Yeah. She came out. She had her top on. She had her top on. She was there. For a while. We don't know what happened later. No. We don't know what happened after we left. She brought her dog into the bar, which she brought her dog and weirds me out. It was a bigger dog and it's a gigantic dog. It's like that fucking dog in uh, the never ending story. Valcor? Yeah. I think it was it's a like rescue. A Valcor dog. Yeah, whatever, man. You're going to rescue. You might as well fly away on it. 
Um, she may have just rescued it. It looked like. <laughs> <laughs> Like 15 I minutes think she before. came from the... The rescue to mm-hmm. today, yeah. From the pound, or what do you call it? Uh, yeah, do you call yeah, it the pound? I'm sure. I don't know. I don't know. I'm not a... I'm not a the poon doctor. pound? Yeah. <laughs> not a doctor, Jesse. Never pretended to be one. Um, the but, rescue shelter? Anyway, she came right from there to the bar yeah. with this dog. Didn't bath him, bathe him or anything. No. Um, we got fucked up last night. And like, it's one of those things where you go out and everybody's buying shots and... You know, the usual drinking bro shit. And I was just right. like, oh, it's Tuesday. Fuck. Fuck. It was Look. Monday. It was Monday last night. Today's Tuesday. Yikes. Yikes. That's how bad it was. You thought it was Tuesday. I'm the about whole to shawl well myself. You know, stall well. Shart. Swall well. That's it. I think we should just replace Shart with a swall well. He cannot win with that name. I gotta, you can't I, oh, say that's it. That's a swallwell. My pants Buttigieg today. Buttigieg is easier to say than swallwell. Swallwell. Oh, I gotta, I gotta go. I got a real big swallwell coming up. Um, but that's the type of hungover I am today. Uh huh. And man, I'm gonna be real with you. Okay, I've tried to lay off the uh, liquor. Okay. Um, I haven't seen it yet, but I guess you. N- n- liquor wise yeah i haven't seen you lay off but yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I, de- I definitely have oh okay i don't know if you were starting today or <laughs> <laughs> you <laughs> have been secretly laying off like and you just like sh- only in front of me you drink but yeah so i've switched i've pretty much switched over to like a seltzer you know sure oh that's true yeah pretty much like a natty yeah. a natty seltzer right at but a six guys- low calorie low whatever and, and I mean, I haven't had hard. So here's why I'm so hungover. I haven't had hard liquor in. Fuck, what was our last trip? New York. Yeah. So that was what a month ago. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's been about a month, like since I've had like a mixed drink somewhere. I don't believe you. That's true. If you go out somewhere, you no, get every you and fucking, Dan so get this is, double vodka. No, no, no. Hang on. Every bar now is serving fucking white claws and all that shit. So like, dude, th- that meeting with, with like with wings and all that other stuff, like. They they got truly behind the shit. Um, so oh, that's right. We l- last night we went to a dive bar last night. Yeah, and I love the place. I love the poorhouse. It's fucking awesome. It is awesome. It's the owner was there, right? Yeah, he's rad. The whole f- we've been there going there for years. I think it was the, actually the first bar we ever walked into when we moved to this town. Remember I we just think walked down the stairs. True. Yeah. Um, either way, I've always loved this place, and it turns out like Jared and all those guys were, were a fan of it already, and they, mm-hmm. they knew it. Um. Obviously, from their Fort Bragg it was days. Marine Bar. Yeah. yeah. And um, even them, they had fucking White Claws on tap. I know. Uh, how about the guy last night with the fucking White Claw tattoo on his leg? Oh, my God. How, how tight is this, Jamie, on the, on the camera? I mean, it's... Because if... It, Jamie? We could put the picture in, I guess. No, I, I just... Uh, I no. wonder if you can just see this because I... I mean, this is fucking insane. You definitely can't see it. Probably not. You can't but see we this? could put the picture up, right. right? Yeah, I'll I'll post this because I've never seen anything like this. It says for the for the audio. It's gorgeous too. Yes, it is gorgeous. It's perfect. Bright. New. Very new. But for the audience uh, audio audience at home, it says Celt Life on it. Mm-hmm. For the Seltzer, obviously, which is really hilarious. And then it is the most perfectly drawn white claw can. Um, but it takes up this guy's entire fucking leg and i laughed for a thousand years what flavor is it uh it's, it's mango. mango yeah it says a lot about people right mango's the best one I, not to me the raspberry is the best one everybody knows the mango's the best one nope <laughs> nope this is like uh insane. raspberry is the best flavor they have um and we're house that's divided. how that's how people are switching over that's how much people are switching over to seltzer is that because look man at a like with a natty with a natty, I wish they were a fucking sponsor. With a natty light seltzer, they're at a six, right? Mm-hmm. And it's like eighty calories or whatever it is, and uh, you can tie on a nice buzz with that. You don't, it don't feel, it doesn't feel as hard as like, man, I'm drinking liquor, like hard yeah. liquor. So it's been about a month, and then last night, man, once people started making fucking made up shots, uh, gummy bear shots that didn't, you know. It moderately it's not tastes like a gummy bear. Made up. I think they put pineapple juice in it, which you're not supposed to do. So mm. it should have been a raspberry vodka, a schnapps, and a like simple syrup. Triple sec. I was about 
It's a schnapp. Yeah. And <laughs> we salute you. <laughs> oh boy. You should have leaned over and said, uh, barkeep. Yeah. Uh, tender. Excuse me there, tender. Why don't oh, you let no, me you uh, make, make that drink there? No, you definitely don't do that. Why not? You ever call them just a keep? I do. Snap your fingers, pound on the bar, yep. clap. Yep. No. No, they don't respond well to any of that. Sometimes Telling you got to give how the to keep. Make the drinks that, yeah, they're gotta, so proud of. You got to give the keep a rap on the beak. Telling them a them monkey honest. could do their job. Yeah. They don't like that. A munke? No, a monkey. Monkey? Yeah. Uh, speaking of monkeys, I, man, when you're hungover, you start reading a bunch of weird shit, and you're just like, oof. I'm just staring at this article. I don't even know if I'm really reading it. It was a monkey with a human face, and uh, they're having a problem getting it to, like, the monkey wants to be married and have, like, a, a wife. Mm-hmm. And because it's got a human face. What do you mean a human face? It, it, it's not, a, like, a genetically created one, not like China. It just happens to have this, like, human-looking face. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've probably seen a meme of it. 19 sure. y- Yeah, you have. 19 years, this monkey's been, like, single. And the monkey's like getting lonely and depressed and shit. And they're doing studies on it. But like mm. the other monkeys don't want to be with his monkey because it's got a human face. That's how hungover I was this morning. I went down that rabbit hole of like, fuck, man. And they've got these pictures of this monkey in the cage, just super sad and shit. I'm like, God damn it. When you get hungover to the point where you start to feel bad for monkeys with human looking faces. You know. You've gone too far. You probably shouldn't have gotten that hard last night, Ross. You know what I'm saying? Um, and that's, yeah. That's how I felt uh, this morning. And I just kept staring at this monkey. And I was like, oh, man. What the shit, you know? <laughs> what the shit? Um, because it was such a weird news cycle of like, all right, you had Shartgate. Right. right. And then meth. Eating up the, the headlines. Yeah, meth. We are on it. Hashtag meth. We are on it. And I was like, what? It's so weird. I thought it was a joke. I did too. It's not a joke. It's not a joke. What is it? Uh, the Dakotas? North or south? Jamie, this is your uh, neck of the woods. Yeah, full of meth labs. Bro handle. Are they? He said, Jerry, North, Jamie just said it's uh, full of meth labs. It's crop circles and meth heads. Crop circles and meth heads. Yeah. There's no reason for those states to exist probably. but No. Uh, Either who, they do, and apparently a lot of people are on meth, so they started this campaign, this drug campaign that just says, meth, I'm on it, and it's, or we're on it, and Mm -hmm. it starts off with, like, normal looking people, to, like, fucking high school football players, to all this shit, and I'm like, ugh. Meth is a terrible drug. I don't understand why anybody gets addicted to meth. I really don't. Right. Heroin I get. Yeah. But not meth. Right? I do. Math, your dick shrivels up and you're up for fucking 72 Oof. hours. Like, it's the worst. It's the worst drug ever. There's nothing that you can be like, That's oh, the man. one that you cannot come back from. Like, even if you somehow, some way, get out of the clutches right. of a meth addiction, sure. you will never be the same. Like, it totally, you know, fucks with your brain, your face, your I don't teeth, get it, your... though. I don't get the allure of it. Whereas, like, like you were saying, heroin, right? Shoot up on heroin. Yeah, you feel great. Yeah. And then uh, it's like the greatest struggle. Just kind Math of is like terrible. something glamorous. It can be glamorous can until be. it's not. Yeah, you could write a fucking yeah, alt rock like, album. Yeah, you can write like, yeah, or a book. Black hole sun, Poetry, girl. songs. Yeah, yeah, Wash yeah. away the pain. Black hole sun. Uh, is it wash away the pain or wash away the rain? Who fucking knows? I'm not. Oh, I uh, guess you wouldn't wash away the rain. Yeah. No. You <laughs> can't rain, wash away something that's already wet. The rain is washing away whatever. <laughs> yeah. Look, B12 is not for the brain, I don't think. Well, it definitely just keeps your body going. For the body. Yes, yeah, for uh, the body. Either way, this meth, we are on it campaign. I will say this as, as much as I would like to make fun of it. It's effective. Look, we're talking about it. Yeah. It was everywhere. Everywhere. So and it's effective. So good for you. And, and whoever those people are doing math in the, in the D- Dakotas. And Jamie, you're from Dakota? Yeah, this is the- North Dakota. This is the best thing to come out of Dakota. Yeah. Ever. Ever, yeah. 
Get oil. I don't know anything else good that came from Dakota. <laughs> I, I, I bet you people just are, kidding. are just uh, methed up, just, just kidding. walking out into the farms, punching bison right in the stomach. Yeah. Just boosh. Just to see, get a reaction out of them, you know, and then mm-hmm. running away real fast. Mm-hmm. Um, never been there, but that's just my my. That's my, the way that you. Yeah. It. Yeah. Hey man, you guys got any meth? Yeah, I got some meth. Why? Huh? Guy want to punch a bison, but I <laughs> really need some meth for that. Yeah. Just want to just truck a bison. Ooh. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You know. Yeah. <sighs> you walk away. You've got a smelly fist. Is that they? They don't wash that hair, right? That bison hair. He has a lot of dreadlocks in it. Mm-hmm. A friend of mine, Bert Koontz, owns a, owns a bunch of them now. Mm-hmm. If, if you follow his Instagram, all the bison have like dreadlocks. It's crazy. I'm not going to blind, blindly follow you like down every little fucking but that's rabbit true. hole you want to go that's down. That's true. Jesse. No, I'll let you go. I'm just saying I'm not going to blindly follow you wherever it is. <laughs> Punching bison with smelly. Like, go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm yeah, just not yeah. going to participate. Well, I wish you would. In everything. I wish you would. I'm going to pick my battles stuff. <laughs> I'm going to pick my stuff to expound on. Punch a bison. North Dakota. I think that's on their uh, license plates. Yeah. Ohio is first in flight, I believe. No, uh, that's us. North Dakota. Is it? Huh. Sunshine State. First yeah. To, first man to run. <laughs> Right here in this state. First man to run. Uh, the wind in my sails, North Dakota. Um, no, North Dakota is... North Dakota, is windy city, right? Knock out a bison. Twin, <laughs> twin cities, yeah. <laughs> the old twin cities. Ooh, the... The, uh... <laughs> the garden state. <laughs> right? The show me states where we're living oh, in. Oh, 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 oh. Knock out a bison in South Dakota. Um, it'd be awesome if they just switched it to hashtag meth. We are on it. North We're Dakota. Driving around, yeah. The city that never sleeps, yep. right? The city of angels. Big Apple. Yep. The uh, little sombrero <laughs> in South Dakota. But yeah, man, I uh, I needed I, I needed something else today. Uh huh. I really needed a full lobotomy. I think. Yeah. I needed to be like an eight-year-old girl today. Mm-hmm. Instead, I'm a grown man with a hangover, <laughs> and um. Saying a bunch of weird shit. It's going to get weirder today, kids. So uh, if you're in your car, you nothing's buckle your seatbelt really, a little like, tighter. Nothing's really working. It's you all working. You know what I mean? Everything. For me, for me. Well, for you, James. Like the, the connections aren't being made. You think it's the, it's the B12 that got you, huh? No, no. It was definitely all the drinks. Okay, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, B12 is not going to help you with that. <laughs> <laughs> Right? How did they do it? How did they used to do it? They d- did they get B twelve shots or was it like the whole I- the IV thing? Like how no, did these shots. old partiers yeah, keep shots, it going? Shots and now. drugs, I think. They and they it, kept drinking. They do it now in your arm, but the, like JFK used to do it in the ass. Well, yeah, he had asked me. He was like, uh, "Arm or the tush?" And uh. I was like, "I think arm, right?" Yeah, uh, yeah. Is the tush like better? I don't know. Yours is. You know, big Blamo, fan of it. thank you. Yeah, he was probably hoping for the latter of like. <laughs> no, he was not. Don't you, uh, he's very. Is it my, now my husband no. said it was the arm. No, no, no. Your husband was sorely mistaken. You're gonna have to uh, turn around, unbuckle those jeans, and uh, pop it down. Just pop it down. You know, get a delightful ass, Jesse. That's what I would have done if I was a doctor. So, shoot or shoot. You know, you got to take your shot sometimes. It's like Lee Harvey Oswald said, uh, you miss 100% of the shots you don't take. Again, I'm not going to be following you down okay. every road. <laughs> I'm not going to get on every plane. I'm not going to get on every flight. Some flights you're going to have to take by yourself. And I'm going to have to stay home. John you know Wilkes I mean? Booth also said that too. You miss 100% of the shots you don't take. Um want to say this, too, to the uh, audience. Um, I know we talked about this a few weeks ago, and I got a bunch of messages about it, about my love of Coldplay, and I was like, I realize I'm the only person left on Earth that loves mm-hmm. Coldplay. You are. We listened to the two new songs that are out. Uh, the album's coming out, I believe, next week. And I've heard enough. 
Let's put it that way. I have not. <laughs> I love. <laughs> I've Coldplay. heard all I need to hear. <laughs> but the anthem song that you're making fun of, whoa, like the stadium yeah, yeah, song. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, so I heard it last night when we were at uh, a bar, the, or the first one we went to, we went to Hell's Kitchen, mm-hmm. and I heard it, and you guys were having a conversation, but it was all dudes at the table and you. Mm-hmm. Oh no, actually, there was another girl there. Um, she doesn't count. <laughs> yeah, she doesn't count. She's dumb as shit. Um. I told Stop her to her face. It. I told her to her face. I don't, it's she not. at this point does stuff to like nope. piss you off. No, she's just dumb. No, she'll say things now. You know, I hate dumb people. I, um, either way. She's either a genius. That or song came no. on. Yeah, she's no, she's <laughs> she's dumb. Really go dumb. ahead. Go she's ahead. A dumb person. Go ahead. Um, that song came on last night and I was in my head. I was like, yeah, I'm singing it like, you know, kind of in my mind. Sure. And then it was loving it. Was that, it. Yeah, yeah, totally. And it was that brief second where I was like. I was just about to blurt out to the table, hey, it's new Coldplay. New Coldplay, yeah, and you stopped yourself. By inches. Like, the, I was this close to saying, oh hey. God, that would have ended new the Cold night. New Coldplay. That would huh? have ended the night right away. Yeah. Everyone would have gone home. So I kept it to myself. Good. And I live in the dark. I live in the shadows. And uh, I live in my own shame. Quintessence. Yeah. Coldplay. Yeah. Hey, new hey, Coldplay. Guys. Huh? I'm like, what? Get him out of here. You would have been like, <laughs> hook, like, come yeah. and like. I would have been Epstein. Yeah, you would have just been like, you would have disappeared and everyone would have been like, somebody would have thrown me over the side of the booth and it was just like, oh. <laughs> 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 How did Ross die, man? It was, it's weird to, for a person He never to, even, to we don't even himself. know who Ross is. Yeah. It's we could go the um, Prince Andrew route. Epstein, who? I never yeah. even. I never even met him. <laughs> Did you stay at the island? Yeah. Did you go on the planes? Yep. Yep. Yeah. They have uh, photos of Prince Andrew mm-hmm. at his place mm-hmm. with, with the, girl. the girl. Yeah. Like multiple photos. Doesn't remember. He does not recall. There's like 90 photos, man. Doesn't that, remember on like him. Multiple occasions. Doesn't remember it. He, now, for those of you at home who are listening, um, this is the guy who used to use a puppet of himself. To touch the uh, women, the underage the girls, underage girls that Epstein procured for him. Yeah, I why do the interview? I'm not sure. Are you that you're that narcissistic? Obviously, that you think you you're Lance Armstrong. So well, no, here, here's what you're I think, Lance because I watched it. I watched the interview. Mm-hmm. I thought it was set up. I th- I thought he had the questions in advance, and I felt like they forced him to do it. What do you mean? Um, that other shit was going to come out, more stuff, and it did. There was like a bunch of pictures dropped later on in that afternoon, mm-hmm. and I think they got ahead of that story, and they said, look, you're going to have to fucking say something before these pictures drop this afternoon. Because there was more yes, pictures Yes, I was on released. the plane. Yes, I was in the, at the island, but mm, yeah, don't never, remember it. Don't remember it and never met him. Yeah. It's too busy to get my dick sucked. Yeah. It was like, too- that would have been more... You know, believable than what he said. It was uh, disastrous in my mind, but yeah, my but I, I think that it, it felt last minute. It felt rushed. It felt like he had the answer. I mean, the, the questions beforehand, and I felt mm. like somebody made him do that. Mm. But who knows? Who knows? That was so weird, though, man. Um, and that story is, I think, just going to get weirder. I think. I hope it's not killed. I hope this Epstein thing is not killed. Uh, let's get into the sponsor, shall we? We shall. Man, the first one I did not want to get out of this morning. Whew. That ghost bed. Oh my gosh, like I I can't wait to get back in it. Yeah. I I was I'm just... gonna go er, I'm gonna go in early. Young dude. Ola? Um, Yami, we, we get a guest out uh, outside and um uh, at one of the doors, I should say. So we have numerous doors in here, by the way. We've got oh, a high, yeah. we got a high security system in here. Oh yeah, we have to. Precious cargo, <laughs> you guys want to um, protect, and I get it. Yeah. You know? You protect the goods. You got to protect the goods, the money maker. You're going to have to turn around. The Pop real those jeans star down. of the show. Yeah. yeah. Pop those jeans down. I got to get a little uh, shot in there. I don't want to do the, uh, the doctor sexual harassment thing. Okay. I don't want to do it. All right. Just I don't want to do that one it. anymore. I would have done it to you. Uh, ghostbet.com forward slash drinking bros. 
is where you can get the finest your mattress guest. in all of the land. Your guest just brought in White Claw, so Fuck I'll you, see dude. you later. That's hilarious. I'll it's, see you later tonight. I'm going to go to bed. It's Drew LaMax. Um, I think, here, here's the thing. I think this might be the only way to s- prevent this hangover right now. So stop No, it. I get it. I'm, I was... Oof. I was contemplating for sure, but I know. but go ahead. I'm sorry, Ghost Bed. This is, this is a terrible read I'm giving you right now. But oh, uh, sorry. I love no. your fucking mattress. Look, and- when you're hungover, the only saving grace in your life is that you have a ghost bed. You yeah, know what I mean, you just like go. Oh, thank God. I will say this: I made this purchase sober. When we do shows hungover, they end up being the best of all time, but uh, they get fucking weird. So, Ghost Bed, I'm sorry. I love you. If you're a uh, military first responder. Um, you know, if you faked it, I think you can just put a picture up at one point. You know, just maybe like you wore a little police outfit for Halloween. If you can sleep, post at, that. If you get fifteen percent off night, forever. If you could sleep at night and do that, good for you. But what if it was like a, a nice, like flirty little gay thing? Like, oh, we were two cops. We just put a little picture up. We 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 get arrested. <laughs> Did you hear about the Harry Styles, Sarah Lee? I have not. Skit? Okay, I go ahead. Not. Um, but we'll talk about Mr. Styles right after this. Uh, go to ghostbed.com forward slash drinking bros today. Lay down. Lay down on that bed. Pull your little jeans off. Slip into a slumber. Get a mattress. Deliver it to your house in a box. Next up, strikeforceenergy.com, James. <laughs> Boom, 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 boom. Shablankers. Shablankers for you and shablankers for me. Um, I put so much strike force in my drink this morning that uh, I'm a little jittery. <laughs> oh, and that may be the problem, actually, it's, to be honest with it's you. It's all of it, man. It's all of it, you know? Um, again, I'm not a doctor, but I thought strike force would help just kind of put a little pep in my dome. Uh-huh. And uh, it is not. Put a pep in my dong today. Um, I think, I think I had too much. Go to strikeforceenergy.com. No carbs, no sugars. Tasty, tiny little tin pouch. Uh, if you were following along on YouTube but with the video show, again, we're, we merge with the Drinker Bros podcast channel because of the media company now. And uh, we're all together on one. You can see the tasty, tiny little tin package. Rip it open, squeeze it in any drink available. You're fucking living your best life. That's off the cuff. But it's fucking recording quality. So, Strike Force, you're welcome to take it and run with it and play that at the Super Bowl. Go to StrikeForceEnergy.com today. Promo code Revolution for 20% off. My eyes aren't working. Last but not least, did you just say your eyes aren't working? No. Oh, ah, are you? It's blurry. You're bleeding really profusely out of your forehead. Um, next up is uh, StraightRazors.com. Oh. Yeah. That's a clean cut smooth. Oh, you right? Yeah. Uh, uh. <laughs> I just puke after. There's a rumor that the Ukrainian dwarf is coming to our live show on Saturday in Columbus, Ohio. Hush, dude. You're fucking so stupid. I heard that rumor. <laughs> and uh, what, what I know is this. If she ends up on the show at the tailgate, um, I'm going to take a straight razor from straightrazors.com <laughs> and shave her bush live on air. Oh, I, quit, but narrated dude. as Dr. Phil. Now, here's what you want to do with a 30 year old dwarf bush you got to shave it clean. If you're trying to trick your foster parents into raising you and taking care of you longer, you've got to shave your bush and hide your period. So, uh, I would go to straightrazors.com for that. You can also get it engraved. I talked to them yesterday. I talked to the uh, president, Luke Webster, big fan of his. How He's is he? Funny guy. And he goes, uh, look, man, you can get these engraved for Christmas. And I was like, all right. I already have one engraved. This is badass motherfucker on it. I mean, that's real. Um, can I get anything I want? Because like NFL jerseys, you can't get ass eaten season usually and shit mm-hmm. like that. And he goes, yeah, well, what do you want on it? And I was like, I want the Ukrainian dwarf bush shaver engraved on it. And he was like, done. So if you're trying to get uh, yourself. You have too many yes men around you, dude. I don't. I don't have enough. I need a too yes many lady. Yes men. You need, need somebody yes to tell lady. you no, dude. 
So if you're at home and you're trying to uh, think of a gift for Christmas, get a shaving kit and then just get it engraved. When you check out promo code Revolution twenty percent off, it's a big savings there. Just write in what you want engraved on there and just put in the Ukrainian bush shaver. That would be the greatest, most hilarious gift of all time. Oh my god! Now, if you're out there riding on a unicorn, but you can't tell if the meat inside an Impossible Whopper is actually meat. Your dwarf is too old. Too old. No? Yeah, I'd sit a couple plays out. Okay. Uh, that's going to segue into our next story. Burger King's getting sued, Jabes. They are? I did. Okay. For the Impossible Whopper. Oh, why? Somebody says there's fucking meat in it. There's not meat in it. Maybe. Has it been tested? Yes. By who? What do you mean? Here's the thing. I go back. I always go back to this Skechers story. Remember the shape-ups? Shape up. I'm getting fit. I'm getting in shape. I'm right. F- you're fucking losing weight. You're right. doing shit. You can open up the jar of mayonnaise without your husband. Somebody finally did a test on those fucking things and it was like, whoa, you are not, they, these are not helping with anything. They get sued for a gajillion dollars and they lost. Right. I think that's a little bit different. There is no meat in the, okay. Could be a few speckles in there that you don't know about. Yeah. Okay. Maybe they shaved a goat leg lightly. Because everybody who's had it has said the same thing. But it tastes like a real fucking burger. <sighs> Maybe it is, man. I mean, Maybe it was just a, a huge troll on vegans where it was just like, oh, hey, we have this impossible whopper. Oh, my God. Dig on in. Imagine. Fuck faces. And then all of a sudden it's just like, oh, man, you've been eating real meat forever. Joke's on you. Ugh. We converted you. Now go back to Look, you want the, the answer to that is you wanted a burger. Yeah. Clearly you were craving a burger, vegan. Mm-hmm. You got one. Do you know what I mean? You got all the things you needed. Iron. Yeah. It's iron, right? Copper. Iron. No, they you don't get copper. Hey, traces of it. Um, so this sketch. On oh, uh, it, Mr. Harry Styles. Harry Styles was. By the on, way, we love Harry Styles, man. Oh my gosh. Huge. Music. I love every second. Personality. That, he is I, he, that guy's a in, fucking great. He's face. a superstar. Yeah. yeah. Awesome. Yeah. So he was really good, I guess, but there's this sketch that is getting a lot of heat, I guess. I mean, so uh, they did a sketch about Sarah Lee, you know, the bread? Yeah. And he plays this, like, gay intern that works there and has been mixing up the Instagram with his, like, (laughs) his stuff was apparently really funny. But uh, so... On the show, Styles plays a young employee who fesses up to his bosses that he's been accidentally mixing the corporate accounts he's, he's tasked with maintaining with his personal ones. And so he's been like putting raunchy <laughs> shit on this very wholesome. I mean, Sarah Lee is known for like just these wholesome Pinterest posts and all this stuff. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and Sarah Lee like responded, but in this like, really not funny way like a really stupid like w- this obviously does not align with our brand it's like you can't pay for that kind of press it's like no. go with it dude no i i whoever told them to respond with like we do not you know snl pushes the boundaries obviously and blah 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 didn't just be like haha this is funny so sarah lee the brand has been waking up to all these raunchy messages on their Instagram because people like went to it and started just like that's really fucking funny yeah is it so, on, it's on Instagram right now uh, I think so on the Sarah Lee oh, that's so good so good and I mean I'm sure little Harry Styles just fucking killed it uh, you know I watched his opener okay and it was really really good um, holy shit yeah I mean they're getting like 4,000 comments on their shit. So among the the missteps of his captioning, (laughs) he captioned a photo of Texas toast (laughs) with feeling really depressed after threesome. What was supposed to be a fantasy ended up more like rejection. Must get rid of toxic, must get rid of toxic in community. Somebody, the, I don't know what these comments mean. I'm going to go back and watch this sketch, which is just somebody on Sarah Lee's page, just on their, on their, all their comments, just wrote, wreck me, daddy. Yeah. So I guess he had like, <laughs> yeah, he posted him and like some fucking shirtless dude in a harness and put wreck me, daddy. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> I watched his opener and um, it was really good. He was just like, man, can't believe I'm on here. I can't believe I'm on Saturday Night Live. He was playing the piano, but it wasn't him. And uh, it was, and they cut away to like black hands to playing. Black it. hands, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Which is a very Ross Patterson joke. Mm-hmm. And uh, and he goes, uh, you know, I can't believe I'm here. Um, SNL hasn't been good since the cast was doing cocaine. So I was just Real. like, well, it's Brilliant. true. It's I true. love it. But uh, H Styles, um, I'm gonna I'm gonna peep this now. Yeah. I mean, I want to see this for sure. SNL, Uh, the ratings have just shit the bed this year. Exactly, and that's why I didn't see it. But then when stuff like this happens, I'm like, ugh. Yeah. Uh, It's, man, it's, look, you know, I was a gigantic SNL fan. And then four years ago, I just fell on the toilet, man. Oh, yeah. It was right after the Lonely Island guys left. I'm not an Andy Samberg fan. It was the Leslie Jones era. I mean, I don't know if she's still on it, but she fucking ruined shit. Here's the crazy thing is, you know, they didn't didn't ask her to leave. She left because she's so busy. And I'm like, doing what? Doing what? Probably sucking at stuff. Like, yeah. And she, it was like, I felt like I was being punked because everyone, like they would ask it's Lauren crazy. Michaels, anyone that was in the cast, who's your favorite? Who mm-hmm. do you think the funniest is? Leslie Jones. She couldn't get a fucking line right ever. ever. She couldn't read. She was looking at the fucking prompter she cards the whole time. She doesn't do any characters. Impressions, She nothing. was scary and weird and I didn't get it. I didn't either. But everyone said she was the funniest person. I don't know. And again, it was, it's like sushi. It, I just feel like, the world is pranking me. <laughs> like you guys don't actually crave sushi, do you? No, I do. Like a, a do. sashimi, like a oh yeah, a raw piece of fish on top of mm. a little thing of rice. That mm, I'm craving. What's that? What's that? New I feel sushi like you're place we go fucking to? pranking me. No, what's that new sushi place we go to that you order Nori. cooked food? Yeah, yeah, I order chicken because I'm not in on the joke. Right. <laughs> that Anyways, the world is playing on me. They have the best roll there I've ever had in my life, and I I could eat there every day. Um, I just what, like I, a good atmosphere, which they have. But go ahead. Both, both are lovely. Well, we just sit at the bar too. Um, Speaking this, of Leslie Jones, right? Yeah, man. There, there's an article that I read this morning called "Get Woke, Go Broke," and I thought it was brilliant. Brilliant, and I'm so glad that we're actually able to publish stuff like this. <laughs> Finally, right? So, Finally. I guess in Hollywood, behind closed doors, there has been this thing amongst executives. Get the guys back in the roles. Let's reboot again so that we can like undo everything we've done. Yeah, and uh, the the inside joke, I guess, in Hollywood is uh, get woke, go broke. That if you make movies about like the woke generation of we're feminist or we're me too and whatever you're fighting for. The idea is if you shove it in people's faces, if you make it so much one way, where like every Ghostbuster is a girl. Yep. Just put a couple. Right? No, Every person no. in the whole movie is a woman. Ah. Ocean's Eleven, now it's eight. And we're just going to remake that. Um, Charlie's Angels, not one guy in sight. I mean, Charlie hey. is, uh, was a, ch- a, a girl. Was a girl, and they just keep saying it over and over. They have like five clips of them being like, Charlie isn't a guy or isn't a man. You're like. Yep, all done with that. Um, but here was the shocking thing on that. So they, they asked Elizabeth Banks about. Who I like. So do I used to um she said that charlie's angels is tanking um which to her is reinforcement that men won't pay to go see women in action movies what not true no it's not true one two it's just a shitty movie man like the, the cast is boring it's bland it's another reboot that no one asked for and look to be blunt about it, right? I'll, I'll flip it to the, the dudes section of this. Same with Terminator. The, the newest Terminator tanked. Yeah, yeah. I don't want to see 75-year-old Schwarzenegger in the 90th reincarnation of... And 90-year-old Linda... Linda Hamilton as a fucking lead. It looked like my grandparents fucking fighting robots in liquid nitrogen. I don't get into that. <laughs> and they kept... It looked they, awful. They kept doing all these interviews of like... Yep, she's, you know, it's so nice to see a woman that hasn't had any work done, you know, up there on the screen. It's like at 70 or whatever she is. And like, it's nice for who? Her. <laughs> if I wanted to see my grandparents fight, fucking hold guns and like yeah. run in the desert, man, I guess I could just do that to them. Oh, yeah. Yeah. 
I right. could just drop them off in a, <laughs> the desert yeah. with guns and a GoPro yeah, and, a and GoPro. watch it at home yep. later. Uh, on a, <laughs> one of those one lane highways, yeah. put a fucking jar of Werther's in the middle of it and hey, watch my grandparents fight to, to not have the Werther's melt in the desert. Like, <laughs> they could, like Grandma, no! <laughs> She's walking in these like boots with this huge gun and yeah it's, it's really hard for her Cause, well because they, they pan up it's really like so it starts stilted. with the boots and then it pans up and you're like yeah this is gonna be badass and it's like and it's your grandmother <laughs> and grandfather with a shotgun fighting each other really <laughs> slowly and not good no like, like by the time schwarzenegger actually gets the gun into position like a person I'll 20 years younger be, would have completely killed him. I'll be back. Oh, my fucking back. Oh, <laughs> Grandma. <laughs> I'll be right over there. Limpy, limpy, limpy. Limpy, limpy boots. Limpy boots, limpy boots. Sexy at any age. Yeah. No. No. It's horrific. It's a goddamn sexual nightmare. I didn't want to see any of that either, Elizabeth Banks. So it's not just you. It's all these shitty remakes in general and... I Quit think when fucking it's pinning it to, to feminism. Maybe I want to see not, women. It's when it's unnatural. When it's like, gosh, I don't believe that that Kristen Stewart could fucking lift this bottle, yeah. let alone like be kicking the shit out of somebody. She's the like, female she's John so Legend. She's fucking so fucking frail, boring. Yeah. and like, you know, skinny, and they're all like, I, I don't know. I don't know. But it, always, it doesn't matter. If they were good, it'd be different. She's always got that look on her face like Swalwell just farted. Or yeah. she's just like like a sneer of like, oh, I can smell it still, Swalwell. Yeah, she's uh, the worst. Uh, she's the worst. I've always hated her and I've never gotten it. But I don't either, when man. there's just like a whole cast, it's just we have when they do things like we have to put a wim- woman in this role and this role and this role instead yeah. of just being like, like Elizabeth Banks did Pitch Perfect. It was yes. a perfect blend of guys and girls and black people and Asians, and it seemed very natural. Yes. It didn't seem like they forced. were trying to make sure that they checked every fucking demographic, female, age, male. It just was like the best people, and they made it like balanced and diverse, Yeah, but not in a way that you felt it was forced into yeah it, right? I, it didn't feel so like the, the cover of a brochure for a junior college where you're like oh these oh, people aren't friends with each other i guess every, when it should just be yeah. all asians right and so it's like <laughs> what so you, know, you meant harvard that's harvard that you just described yeah there's a lot of the schools no, it's ucla well you well that's the good schools jesse so, <laughs> so anyways <laughs> uh yeah i i think that um I like that they have that kind of saying in Hollywood because it's just so obvious. I'm glad that they understand it. Finally. Um, because look, I, you know, the other one is, is uh, these Roger Ailes movies, that TV show, the, all, all of them, these Me Too shows are tanking. And, and look, it's like, we'll see. We'll see what happens with the other one at Christmas. What was the one last year with, uh, oh, fuck, the vice president, Dick Cheney. Oh, yeah. That made $40. And again, man, it's just like, dude, who wants to see this fucking shit? Just get woke shit. Right. Um, and that's a little bit no different, one. but yeah. Kind of, but it's like you just it's took just, the, one of the most boringest vice presidents of all time. It's like making a movie about Mike Pence. I don't want to see that. Yeah, but we are bailheads, so. We are huge bailheads. Huge bailheads. And bail he should have won a so fucking we'll Oscar. And by the way, that's for you, Ken Murray. You created that phrase. I'm going to give you credit for it. Bailheads. Bailhead. I love it so he much. He just watched uh, the, the Ferrari movie and said it was just fucking balsamic. So I got to get I gotta Wait, get Jamie, my, did you see it? Ass in the theater. Awesome. And go see it. We gotta go see it. <laughs> Jamie says meh. Uh, wow, Jamie. Jamie, I don't your your taste. We don't believe though, you. We don't no. believe you. Nope. Doesn't My really goodness. Me. Yeah. I bet you watched that Star Wars thing on fucking Disney Plus. That was your first Dolomite or Dal Del- 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 Delagmite? Whatever, man. Um it's a Star Wars it's got show. A, it's got a baby on, Yoda it in it or something. Uh, Disney Plus. I know, but what's the show called? You're, everybody's, you're asking the wrong person for that, hombre. Everybody's talking about it. I'm not. Huh? I, who knows? It's a new Star Wars TV show on, on Disney Plus. People are really shaving gooches over it. Um, 
I'm not I'm not going to get into the 90th iteration of a Star Wars thing or whatever your bullshit universe was. The last six have made me the Mandalorian I hate the and first people three are so pissed that a woman doesn't show up until whatever, like 30 That's minutes right, in yeah. or something. Somebody said that last night when we were having yeah, drinks and I go, I think it was Jared. Who cares? Who cares? Who fucking Quit cares? Thinking about that. Like, yeah. just go. Why? Who is thinking? I'm Who not... is watching a show? Like, Let's see when a woman comes. Yeah. Oh, like checking your watch. Yeah. Crazy, man. It's a crazy the world be- we live like in. Like the Bechdel test, checking every fucking movie to make sure it passes. Yeah. Do you know what that is? No. Bechdel test is, is there a scene in a movie between two women more than like three minutes long that they're not talking about a man? And why do they so call it, it the Bechdel to, test? So it's like if your movie passes the Bechdel test. So it's some professor that like came up with this thing way okay. back in the day. But yeah. if you think about it, two women, there's no, there's nobody else in the fucking scene and they're not talking about a guy. It's very rare. There's very few movies that actually okay. pass this test. All right. It's kind of crazy, but, and dumb. Like, why are you thinking that? I, I don't, don't know. I wouldn't even think to exactly to do something like that or whatever. But I, I like that everybody else is. In the world full of crazy, Jabes, one man stands out amongst the rest and cuts to the bullshit and parties like a real goddamn gentleman. Talking about Post Malone, Jabes. Oh, yeah, your friend. He is the hero we deserve and we need, and we need him on the show. And uh, he just does his life right. He's fucking awesome across the board. So he's winding down on the, uh, the end of his tour this year. Uh, he's got a couple dates left in L.A. He rented out Hooters. And you might say to yourself, well, why is that a big deal? Because he did it at 10 a.m. 10 a.m. It's not open at 10 a.m. No. Um, he called, had his publicist or someone get a hold of the owner, the one on Hollywood Boulevard, which is fucking packed. That was Clean and I's favorite jaunt. Um, I, st- I still love the, the wings from Hooters more than life itself. Um, again, not a sponsor, just a fan. Just a fan to fan. Game recognizes game. He called and got that fucking place rented out. Um, and opened at 10. One, ra- one waitress was all he asked for. And uh, one opened at 10. He was outside smoking, um, just drinking beer on the streets mm-hmm. on Hollywood Boulevard, mm. which is not a thing either. Uh, they let him smoke cigs inside. Of course. Which is amazing. And uh, that dude just lives his fucking best life. Crocs, Olive Garden, Hooters. He's a chain restaurant, just guy, just like me. Do you understand his like oh. wardrobe now? You would always rail on it. Do you understand it I don't. now? Nope. Okay, I still don't. I still do not understand his wardrobe. So yesterday, I, and it's I, all tongue in cheek. It's all like I buy this from the souvenir shop in New York. Like I guess what he wore at our. <laughs> It was stuff that we would do. Like we, you, you, me, and Dan even talked about that. We like walked by something. And we'd be like, "Wouldn't it be funny if we wore this to yeah. whatever we were doing?" And that's what he does. It's great. He just walks around and goes, "That's the fucking ugliest thing." I think that would be hilarious if I wear it. It was like a matching flame top and flame pants, yeah. right? With like bedazzled. Like, oh it was yeah, yeah, horrible. yeah, yeah. But when, I think we... that's the way he. I heard that's the way he thinks about it. Like we do. That'd be hilarious. So I didn't, I didn't ask him that when we went to that Cowboys game because he had a jersey on, Cowboys jersey. And he was wearing a Cowboys jersey. The only at the time fucking, he looks normal is when yeah, he's He was wearing dressed, a, the yeah. Cowboys jersey at the Hooters. So, um, you know, if he was wearing that at, at that Hooters that next morning, I can promise you this. He went hard after the Cowboys game that night <sighs> and had not been home and probably was just like, look, let's just fuck. Instead of, because there's no Waffle House in LA, he probably said, hey, man, Let's We've been going hard on that. Let's keep the party going. Let's go I'll just fucking Hooters. call Hooters God. and we'll get loose. Oh, to be 23. What is he? 24? 24. 24 years old, yeah. Oof. And rich. Yeah. Yeah, even at 24, I wasn't able to do that stuff. So I don't know what I'm talking about. But I was able to like drink the next day and be like, guys, we went hard. Let's just start Or just go at through brunch. the next day. Yeah. And just be like, all right, cool, man. Um, but yeah, <laughs> it's... It's awesome and hilarious, and it's the most Post Malone thing ever, and he's the greatest of all time. Um, I hope it never ends. <laughs> I really do. I hope his whole shit never ends. Yeah. Because there's people, like, I know there is 
just millions of people that just are waiting for this guy to fail just so they can be like you guys worship that's what happened you know cautionary tale yeah yeah Yeah. um i hope he just drops keeps just dropping bangers and bangers and bangers of albums and the guy lives forever because he's awesome and in the world of shit right now with all these people it's like yeah yeah we need post malone yeah like the kanye thing man we watched that kanye joel osteen thing um man He's gone now. He's well, definitely gone. Uh, no, he's still there. So you, your theory was, hey, man, this is the best scripted career decision of all time. He follows the money. I don't think for one second. He believes in. No. Nope. <laughs> I don't think he's really about that life. Um, I think he's really smart. Man. I think I he's seen, really smart, and I think he knows how to rile up a crowd. It's just a different crowd now. Yeah, I you know, and it's e- and it's easier for him now. He says one thing about God, and they just cheer. Yeah. So, and in just in this mega church specifically, not I'm not talking about all Christians or whatever, but in this mega church, mm-hmm. in this Joel Osteen, 16, in this like people. cult-like yeah. situation, he says one thing, and they all just, oh, you know, it's. It's gratifying for him. Like he is a narcissist, I do believe, and he, you know, he needs that. He needs people to be paying attention to him and be coming to his shows and buying his stuff and uh, constantly. Yeah, he always has. So he needs to be a controversial. He needs to be always in some kind of news cycle and some kind of press thing. So I think this is just his next adventure. I don't, and, and I think it's a smart one. You know. Uh, Own put o- Osteen on her fucking yeah Oprah yeah Oak Dog. There's that's another how I, person that's how I first learned about him. follows the fucking money. Like, yeah. look. But watching him speak, it was just so fucking canned. Uh, Osteen, mm-hmm. we're just like, bro, I can't, I can't even. Oh, uh, I mean, it was like uh, gemstones, you know, righteous gemstones, where you're just like, oh shit, really had that feel of like, oh, now when did you find God? Mm-hmm. Where did you do Can you kind of speak on that? What the transition that you made? Yeah, just and he gets down real low. From I'm not following g- the devil. I'm not gay. I'm just from Atlanta. To now, follow- now, when did you find God inside your heart? Speak on that a little bit, Kanye. Can you tell the people? Uh, Kanye. By, by the way, uh, uh, Colleen, can you get those baskets passed out? Just pass, Kanye to fucking pass out the best. Shut Colleen. up! One of the guys in the front row. Yeah, yeah. I think he was talking. <laughs> I mean, he just he he's still there. You guys don't think for one second that Kanye so is true. now like you so know wa- so different. Yeah. He's talking. and goes, "Hey, brother. You know, I appreciate." He just looks right to this guy. I appreciate the love. I appreciate what. But when you're talking, I get in these stream of conscious. When you're talking, it really throws me off my game. So if you can just be quiet, brother, that would be. Uh, well, what he said was this. I know I'm in your church, brother, but when I don't know if he said that. I said that when he goes, after. when he goes, uh, then he goes, uh, look, when I get in these streams of consciousness, when God is talking through talking me, talking through me that I don't need to be. And you're talking. It really <laughs> throws me off, brother. So if you could just stop talking. <laughs> Boom. There he is. Kanye's back. Right. Yeah. Shutting people up, being a fucking dick. Yeah. He was a dick. <laughs> Minute one of being on that fucking stage. So, again, he's going where the money is. He still needs to work on it a little bit. Sure. Sure. Um, but it, he, don't think for one second that he just found God and is going to give up all of his worldly possessions and stay off Instagram. And don't think that. Yeah. Well, for one second. Either way, we watched it. We get sucked into it. I probably won't do this, so I'm going to tell you, but I was going to ask Ibby to just put fart noises on you <laughs> whenever you are talking. <laughs> for the entire episode? Today? Yeah, but I'm not going to do that, so I'm telling you now. It's really funny. But gosh. If we could open maybe up I'll with do a it a couple noise. times. Yeah, just, uh, maybe I'll do it a couple times on a couple, you. A few sharts Just a few sharts on you only, Ibby. Do not do it to me. Just crop dust this uh, entire show with, with fi- Swalwells. Some sharts in yeah. there. Mm-hmm. Just find little moments where you could... Purr. Yep. Yeah, that'd be great. Uh, let's get to the revolutionary figure of the day, shall we, Jabes? Sure. <laughs> I can't pronounce anything because I got my I tongue in my night. mouth. Don't work, and my eyes are like I cannot see anything right now. I got drunk and I rode someone's dog all the way through the bar. Hey, um, you rode someone's dog? I rode a fucking dog last night. Um, I didn't. 
I didn't ride a dog. It's against the law, and I don't want to, I don't want you fucks calling PETA. Is it um, a rescue? Yeah. <laughs> you, I don't even have to ask if it's a rescue. Nope. I know for a fact your dog's that ugly. dog's a rescue. Yeah, it's ugly as shit. Um, not, not the one last night, but some other people's. Winky. Yeah, yeah, not our, not our friend that we met up with and that listens to the show. No. A different, different one. Dog. Different dog. Uh, different dog. Revolutionary figure of the day. This was a fucking wild one. So... This is going out to uh, Jermaine O'Neal and Ron Artest. There was a post this morning that it was, it's been 19 years since the Malice in the Palace, which was, up until last weekend, the most graphic fight that's happened in a major sport besides hockey. What's the Malice in the Palace? So it was in Detroit. Um, was a it guy, after it was the a, Rumble there, in the Jungle? There was a, there was a fight on the, on a, the Detroit Pistons um, in the oh, Indiana okay, Pacers. Okay. It was, a, it was a scrum on the court. Someone threw a beer at Ron Artest, and he okay. jumped into the crowd and beat the shit out of this guy. Fair. Fans ran down to the court and tried to fight the players. And while, while Ron Artest was in the stands, uh, Jermaine O'Neal, this f- fucking big Detroit Pistons fan, comes you know, walking just onto the court, walks onto the court. Mm-hmm. And they t- he, he takes a swing at him, and then Jermaine O'Neal knocks this guy the fuck out and it's one of the best clips you'll ever see in your entire life and i was like holy shit that was 19 years ago um and then we were talking about the guy with the helmet you know last week Miles oh Garrett. Yeah, yeah yeah everybody has been comparing the two it's crazy that they were this close apart and uh, i was just like man fucking a but i forgot about that punch by jermaine o'neill there was so much beer on the court because it was so much chaos mm-hmm. that he punched this dude and then his, his left leg slipped uh, in the, into the beer. If the, that floor wasn't wet, he might have killed that man. And I think that's because what they said on the microphone. Because he couldn't get a really hard... No, he yeah. got one of the hardest punches in ever you will see in a fight. But... He would have gotten another one. It not, he would have yeah, killed yeah, the yeah. guy. Yeah, yeah, his yeah. face would have caved in. And we never would have seen his body again. Like you would have seen his spirit rise up through the arena and go into Kanye. And he is revolutionary? Yes, because this was the largest suspension every, anybody's ever gotten for fighting on a court. He got We're 80, playing real fast and loose hang with on, this revolutionary hang on. figure. <laughs> he got 86 games suspension, which is it's an entire season. Okay. Uh, one, two. All those fans that came down got lifetime bans. They are never allowed at an NBA game again. So that's okay. weird. How do you how do you keep track of that? Like what could you just show up at another court and just be like, it's it's nineteen years later at this point. Nobody's gonna recognize you. I don't know. You know? Yeah. Maybe you, you could. could just show up and be like, eh, I'm gonna buy a ticket off StubHub and I'm gonna roll in, see a Charlotte Hornets game. Nobody's there anyways. Yeah. Right? I've always found that fascinating of, of a lifetime ban on fans where it's just like, bro, you could wear a fucking wig or something like and come back to the the game nobody's really gonna know you know imagine you do the whole wig like they don't fucking care you have the whole like fake nose glasses yeah. mustache thing that's, that's what i thought i was like man because that was the first time i've ever seen fans banned for life or something when i was just like shit uh and fans just run onto the court where they were like yo i think i could beat an elite athlete mm-hmm. i think i could knock out an elite nba athlete if right. i just run onto the court um and see what happens and this guy just got Newt in the face and uh it's still one of the greatest things of all time but Dang. i didn't think i would see anything like that in my life again and then here we are <laughs> you know here we are here we are that ball rod meme has been going around everywhere what endless from the hot ones oh and yeah. here we are yeah yeah but here we are <laughs> but here we are we're gonna be doing yeah. this today but here we are <laughs> yeah um yeah, so look, if you have a, a, a chance to look at that, just uh, Google Jermaine O'Neal knocking out that guy, and it is so magic. They've slowed it down in like nine different angles, Ooh. so you can see this this dude, and it's a, there's something about a fat guy, like 300 pounds being throttled like that, like it was, everybody said he looks like a turtle from Entourage. Okay. Like when he was fat, you know, fat turtle from Entourage, you know, jersey on, just running down there. There's something about a bigger guy like that, a 300 pounder, just getting trucked in the face. Um, that when they fall, it's just even funnier because the look of shock and their weight mm-hmm. going down is just mm-hmm. like, whoa, fuck. Right. Genius. Genius. Take, take the time out of your day today and go and look that up. It'll give, a, give you a smile that you deserve.
Hmm? Well, we had a fun show, Jabes. Yes. It was real weird. Yes. Yeah, I'm going to go lay down in a ghost bed. And, you wish. Uh, yerk my dong. Whoop. Wow. Probably shouldn't have said that out loud. Uh, there's things that I say out loud that I, I, I can't take back. Yerk. My dong. Mm. There was a. No, don't. Yep. Okay. There was a Yugoslavian no, character that I had named Yerk. No. Last name Madong, M A H D O N G. Nope. Oh, this is my friend Yerk, Yerk Madong. No, don't. Nope. Don't. Okay. And as for another show, I will do my <laughs> Yugoslavian accent on that one. Ooh. Uh, in the meantime, if you're in uh, Columbus, Ohio, meet us at Richard Denoff's Tailgate. It's famous now, it's world famous. Mm. And he's got that apple pie moonshine that's right. Dude. I will be. I don't know what's going to happen that, that day because it all starts at fucking 8, 8 in the morning. Yeah. And... Oh, boy. It's going to be a rough one, James. It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. Nope. Nope. Justice for turkey. Turkey justice. justice. Yep. Hashtag turkey Hashtag justice. Hashtag, Hashtag turkey justice. Do not talk about meth. Christmas. We are all on it. Hashtag Sharkgate. Um, Hashtag Shark Week. For Jesse Wiseman, a.k.a. The Jables, I am Ross Patterson. This is The Revolution. Good night, everyone. Good night.